sleepy as shit. All right, let's do it. Hey, anyways, right, welcome to Jay Berry Acts today. We're going to react to season three, episode five of Shadowhunters entitled Stronger Than Heaven. Hey, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Daily content, if there's a day, there's a reaction. Links in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, everything in between, all the good things. Just a Bruin. Uh, yes, I look tired. I've, I've had some hot dogs. Uh, it's still daylight outside, even though it's, it's late. And uh, i got got to be up early. So none of this is, is fun. But you know what? I have enough energy to watch an episode, so why not do it? Why not hang out with you all and see what the hell's going on with these fucking people? Simon, defense mechanism, Avatar the Last Airbender, he's just, he's just in there, okay? He's just... He doesn't have access to the Seelie Queen, but yet the, the the prostates are protecting him. Whatever the fuck the dude said he was. Prorated shipment. I don't remember. Uh, clearly a setup. Uh, maybe something that Luke has orchestrated. Jace being the owl is still kind of like, all right, where are we, where are we going with that? Is Jace going to end up being like our, our villain? Is with the stuff with Lilith, is he just, you know... I mean, he is a pawn in her game, but... How far is that going to go before she gets fed up with him? Because Clary seems to be the only one that can break his bond because of how much he loves her. And Mama Alec has to get her runes removed. Nizzy has no idea about it. Izzy's also Raphael testing on Heidi to make a daylighter. There's a lot of things happening. Let's watch our Saturday episode. Hop into it. I got my notebook this time. And uh, I'll put Jerry behind the scenes. What I do need is beyond my level of expertise. Whatever happened to him seeing Ragnar, like as a ghost? What was that shit about? So, <laughs> what exactly? <laughs> it was too do big you of need? a drink, God held it. Well, I'm looking for something that oh, can make burns. a person fall out of love. <clears throat> what if that shit ends up getting used on him and Alec? Then what? Pain. I can't even make noises. <clears throat> It's in there. All its bittersweet torture is almost uh, always preferable. To he can't focus on the task at hand. Magnus, there ain't nothing but red flags yes, and red lips I in front of you, bro. Erasing love is actually an act of compassion. No. You're just gonna and make it right there on the spot. Drinks this. You must add one last ingredient: <clears throat> tiny sliver of your soul. My soul? Why? Well, you are the object of his affection. In order for the elixir to work, it must contain a trace of you. That makes sense, actually. You do know how to perform an extraction, don't you? Of course. I love their magic effect they do right there with the screen shakes and shit. Thank you, Mr. Bane. Yeah, so now you have to get you a piece of Clary's soul in order for this shit to work. Good luck. You really are a true lifesaver. The Silent Brothers. They have a history of helping shadow hunters with mental health issues. Jace, we don't know that's what you're going through. Good for them, because uh, I'll make this really short and fucking sweet. Skip ahead if you want to. At work, at my job, I went through a little thing. Had some depression, right? I was sad, couldn't focus. You could see it on my face, bro. I was just tore up. You know what these assholes said to me? They pulled me aside into an office. I thought it was going to be something good. And they were like, hey, we just want to do like a little wellness thing with you. Just so you know, we have our six free sessions, therapy, blah, 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 whatever resources you need were available. And I'm like, in my head, this is nice. And then my soup at the time goes, you know, we have a lot of trainings coming up that we need you to do. And you're just not, you're just not happy enough. You know, we need the old Jeremy back. Because that's what you want to hear. When you're fucking crawling around the bottom of that waterfall right there in Rock's bottom, right? Oof. Point is, take care of your mental. Seek out professional help if you need to. Go to friends, family, anybody who will lend an ear. Anybody you think can give good advice. If you don't need advice, just let tell people to shut up and just listen. Talk to a dog. Talk to a cat. Talk to a stuffed animal. Talk to a pillow. Talk to yourself. Find somewhere to release those emotions in your body. Go get professional help. Talk to a therapist if you can afford it. We do live, well, I live in America. The shit ain't cheap, all right? It's very expensive to see a therapist. Uh, if you need further psychiatric evaluation, I couldn't say the word, go to your hospital. 
Tell them what's going on. If you have to check yourself into a clinic, go do that. Take care of your mental. Let people know that you're struggling, that you need help. They're there for you. People are there for you. If you have to call a hotline, call a hotline. There's no shame in it. There's no shame in asking for help because it's okay to not be okay. Remember that. Put some fucking water in your body. And do what it is that makes you happy. As long as you're not hurting yourself or anybody else. There we go. That's real peace and love. There's a family history. Maybe he can do something. And what are you going to do? Are you going to text him? I'll come up with something. Okay. Mm, I got a hug right there. Let me put my motherfucking cheek on your chest bone, baby. I just feel like if you're going to give somebody a potion to help you erase love and all this other shit, you should do a background check. Like, you should pull some sources. You're just out here willy-nilly doing fucking under-the-table jobs. That's why I got I to gotta double back to that. I just had that thought process. Like, you just, oh, you're a friend of my dead friend. Okay, well, all's well that ends well. No. Is that a box from your mother? Raz al Ghul? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, now I just thought... We've been seeing each other for less than two months. Alexander, once we move in together... Y'all only been together two months? That's how much time it... I, I'm sorry. I'm so used to every other show we watch where it's just time jump after time jump after time jump. Hell, even House of Dragons had time jumps. Acolytes had time jumps. Small ones, but still. Fucking Supernatural was good days, months at a time. Dean, in one of the seasons, had a year to live, and that took place in 16 episodes. A year. What? Together. Our relationship will change. Yeah. We'll be even closer. There's no such thing. If there's one thing I've learned in the course of my long life... To take your time. Okay. Mm. That's got to be heartbreaking for Alec, but I mean, as long as he takes that in stride, Speaking and it's not time, a, it's not I a negative thing. I'm already late for a house call. Talk to you tonight. Yeah. 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 It's it's you know. See ya. Oh my God, that just did it again, didn't I? I'm sorry. I have a secondary app up, and I am just struggling. No Y'all are best friends, bro. Just what get happened? on with it. It's a long story. He said, what happened? Jace doesn't give a shit, but at the same time, does care. It's kind of wholesome. It's kind of cute. All right. Give me a second here, because this other... I'm looking at my recording software, and it is just... I'm going out tonight with the doctor. Tell me everything. It's just dinner. I'm only doing it so he can leave me alone. Well, then why go out with him at all? That's not You're how... Right. I should cancel. That's not how things work. If you don't want to, if you're just doing it to so leave you alone, just say, hey, leave me alone unless you actually have interest. Don't do that shit, bro. Help with the research. Around. Izzy, you've been working nonstop. You can take a couple hours and enjoy yourself. It'll be good for you. Are these the victims of Yeah, girl, get a, go yeah. get a fucking... 26 victims in total throughout the tri area. Law enforcement. Look, I, I've been... You did have a choice. Let's put it out there like that. I'm not mad at her for making that decision. Obviously, anybody outside of her shoes, whether you're just somebody watching the show or whether you're just, you know, a fucking person critiquing or whether you're, you're in the show in that universe, every single person not wearing Clary's shoes will be like, that was a horrible fucking decision. But if you put yourself in her shoes... This dude that she was, you know, in love with, a brother, now not brother, can go back to being in love with, you know, this this obsession, especially she's fucking 18 years old. Yeah, of course you would, you would bring your partner back. I feel like most of us, if you actually love and care about your partner, if they died right in front of you and you had the opportunity to bring them back, why the fuck wouldn't you, you know? Hmm. Lying. I've been lying. But having having the ability to wish for anything. I'd be like, can you bring them back? I don't want to work ever again the rest of my life. And 
feed everybody. Shit, give them housing. To Alec, to, to Izzy, to everyone, it's it's eating me up inside. This is not who I am. It's okay. No, it's not. Because ever since Jace has been brought back to life, he hasn't been himself. There is something... Dark. Seriously wrong. There's something dark happening. And that's why you need Cleopas. She can communicate with the angels, right? She can ask Ithuriel for help. Come sail away. Demonio meum parvulo. Te ik invoco. It's like the perfect apartment for me, right? Yeah. Is he? I've looked through everything. It's a little too perfect, ain't it? I think Magnus has on deep possession. Nothing matches Morgan's symptoms. I'm, uh, I'm leaving now. I don't know. My pen's dying. Oh, it's back. Going through your man's stuff like this, dude. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, my love. George. Is that an ex's box? From his exes? I can see that happening. You live that long, you would keep memorabilia. You would keep little knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bones. At least she's actually back in the fucking show. Start counting. She's gonna be on screen for about a minute and a half, and then she's gone again for the next 15 episodes. Damn, you gonna hug your own bro, bro? You're telling me this guy. Oh, you have no idea what this is. He just came in the room. And what do you think this is? Okay, this looks bad, but there's. Especially, you just heard him walk in. Explanation. Hey, hey, Jace, what the hell? Get off me! That plant. Is Wolf Spain, Simon? Your friend Kyle here is a werewolf. Aren't you, Kyle? But why would he be growing Wolf Spain? Like that's his own shit. That's Who a... are you? What pack are you with? It's a secret organization of wolves, guardians. They only intervene in special downwall cases. Never actually met one. How do we know you're telling the truth? Yeah, Taylor Lautner. What How do we know what we're going on? Energy Simon unleashed on Lucian Greymark's pack. From his forehead. I was sent in to assist. Whoa, whoa, just, just like that, we're cool now? He's doing his job. I'm not a job. G I'm with Jace again, bro. He's just doing his job. Let's might take care of you, homie. The other day, I'm done. Consider this me breaking my lease. That's a crazy ass door lock, by the way. Like that's the whole fucking thing. Yeah, we all uh, work together. Family business. We have more in common than I thought. Izzy. You let this man just lead you into a whole conversation. Granted, I mean, what the fuck she's supposed to say? I fight demons. No, but still, he was smooth with it though. I ain't, I ain't discrediting him, bro. Y'all played y'all's fucking selves. Oh, another one bites the dust. I thought for sure Charlie was going to be like, that's some weird jewelry business. Hey, she was, that was best badass. Girl, aren't you, I mean, she's went from, I don't know. have to get my hands dirty after all. There you go. Actually get out there and fucking do something. Cause I'm free, free Is this yours? Kind of looks like your style.
He didn't ask a single question about her tattoos or nothing. I just realized that. Like, some people are weird about them. Like, not even like, hey, what's the meaning of that? Or, you know, blah, blah, blah. But that's that's more of a down-the-road question, though, than immediate anyways. Yes. Yeah? Thank you. All right, come on. Okay. He's, he's, he's got to be up to something. I don't know why. I just, I just feel it. Ain't nobody been put... Ain't nobody been put into somebody's lives yet for no fucking reason. I would like him just be human, but... This contains trace amounts of Adamus to help call the angels. Sprinkle a little fucking ashwagandha. Is he still... The man's been dead over a century. Why do you keep so much of his stuff? Alexander. The contents in that box, they're not George's. I only have that single photograph. Then what is all that? Each of those belonged to someone I loved and outlived. A different committed relationship for each one. Why do you keep it? Why wouldn't you? I may be magical, but my memory is far from it. I keep those mementos to remember them by. Look, Alec, you know my history. I've always been honest with you about that. Well, now that I've seen some of that history with my own eyes, I can't help but think, if I'm lucky, maybe one of my arrowheads ends up in that box. Look, I don't even want to think about you being gone. I mean, one day I will be. And you'll just move on. I'm immortal! It's not as if I have a choice. I can't change what I am, and neither can you. True. True? Look. You can see the jealousies in his body. The jealousy's there. You can't... You can't blame either party. You can't blame Alec for the way that he feels. Of course he's going to be jealous. I mean, he's seeing a box of all your old loved ones. I feel like, for me... Like, I wouldn't want somebody to see a box like that, right? Because it's... That could be heartbreaking. But on the opposite end, like, if you had a box like that, I would want to see it, if that makes sense. Like, I'd be, I'd be okay with that, just to sit and talk about, and who is this person? Who is that person? You know, what, what did they do? How did they die? What was your relationship like? Because it's not about picking favorites. Like, he is immortal. Like, this is his curse. This is the here and now. This, this is what it is, you know? He's he's lived he's lived and loved all those people as he would. That's that's life. But you get Alex's frustration. Like I'm just gonna go through all this with you just to be a fucking arrowhead in a box. That sucks. It's shitty to think about. That's your potential future. Fifty years from now, if you're lucky. I don't I don't blame Magnus for having a box like that. He wants to keep those mementos to just look back on and reminisce about happy moments. It doesn't take anything away from his current relationship with Alec, but that's tricky. And now they're doing more fucking fireworks. I don't know if it's coming through the mic or not. I see some small ones coming through. Anyways. There you go. Even that feels... Come because of Jace. Mm. You know what happened. I do. I need to know. Is Jace... the way he is because of what I did? No. But returning from death has left him vulnerable. You now face a greater threat than you realize. I, I, I don't understand. A great evil has arrived in the realm of the mundane. The owl. The owl has a master. Mm -hmm. Its name is. Oh, no, hold that motherfucking fist, boy! I got your heart, baby.
I would end the fucking episode right then and there if that was me. I was going to say some shit about Lilith earlier, saying that she's not intimidating, none of that. She just walked up, fucking back punched an angel, just like Jace killed Jonathan. Look, they made him look at his own heart, squished that shit, and then took some of Clary's soul and bounced in bat form. What? Yes, yeah, so, so come be my friend, bro. I'm not over the fact that you lied to me, but I'm willing to give you a chance. You want to help me? I'm in, but only on my terms. That's not how the Prater works. That's too bad. I'm still going to go on living my life. So either you can help or you can go back to wherever the Praters come from. Your call. Go on, bro. Go on and help that motherfucker, bro. Get out there and hold the mic stand for him or something. You got a minute? Uh, he's going to tell him now about dying and coming You're back right? and shit. It's nothing. It's always something. It's nothing? Yeah, like you're my parapetai. <laughs> Just stuff with magnets. Nothing I'd want to bore you with. Very good. Now nothing will come between us. How do you feel? Like a new man. <laughs> By the way, motherfucker. Uh, anyways. I don't know if he did. I decided to go to the Silent City. Blah, 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 blah. Just call me. Okay. Would have made that better. One, I wish the episode would have ended when she stole the soul thing. And then you come back around in episode six and then end it with that. But I get it. She stole it and then ends up giving him the drink in the first place to stop with the fucking fireworks. To help erase Clary from his mind, basically. I was genuinely going to mention that Lilith isn't a threat whatsoever. She's just kind of a pushover with her demons. But here her ass comes, turning into full bat form, killing a fucking angel, stealing the soul, and then spiking his drink in a crowded bar? Listen, even if I'm ordering somebody else a drink, I'd be like, I have my drink in my hand. Like, hey, can I get one more of these right here? Thank you. Look at my hand. Sitting like that. Yeah. All right, thanks. Here you go. No, I don't trust people out in public. I've been to bars and watched people hover over drinks, and I'm just like, hey, we're at this pool table. A group of people just came in. They're kind of hovering around our drinks, and they're like, yeah, well, let's make you a new one. Cool. Thanks. Preach. Appreciate it, man. Oof. Anyways, Ragnar Phil, what happened with that? Why is... Remember him lingering around Magnus? I don't blame Magnus for his box whatsoever. I don't. That's... uh. I can understand Alex being jealous, and he just needs to take the time to get over it, and he should get over it. Personal opinion. Jace's resurrection, he needs to go get help. That's what he wants to do is go get help, but now he doesn't have any love for Clary in his heart. Now he doesn't have all this stuff. Now he's probably not even going to go get help at this point. He's just going to be the owl and a weapon of destruction. The, the angel gave Clary warning of that. And almost revealed either that it was Jace was the owl or that Lilith was the uh, the master behind it. So a day late and a dollar short. It doesn't seem like a big deal that the angel died. I feel like that should be more of a crucial point here at the ending or the beginning of the next episode. I tell you what makes the end of this episode a lot better. I don't know if I said this yet or not. Is just if he said I'm going to the Silent Sisters or going to the Silent Brothers, whoever the fuck, for help. I love you. Just put that love factor back in everybody's mind and then let him go off and, and do that or get mind wiped just so the last thing he says to Clary is I love you and then the next time they see each other they act like they don't know each other I would have had them be almost a little more intimate here not necessarily a sex scene or nothing but them kissing or just being goo goo gaga over one another and then strip that away from him because otherwise we haven't really seen that uh, I just think it will lead to something either him killing her her killing him again him finally getting peace her dying or them just ending up just fucking at some point down the line Charlie seems like a good mundane dude. If something's always off, but it's just something there. I think we should have kept the Kyle thing going a little bit longer because it is the perfect apartment for him. 
but I like the way they're blending it together. Just some things I feel like you could stretch out if you tell it correctly, but I like I like what they're doing. I don't have any complaints on the Kyle stuff. I just figured we would have a couple more episodes of him just being there, but I'm glad Jace was able to deduce it so quickly. And no Heidi whatsoever in this episode. Just none. No Heidi. She's off doing nothing. No Heidi, no Raphael. So we'll probably save some of that information for the next episode. And then uh, it, it leaves us with the whole Jonathan thing, the resurrection. Is Jonathan going to end up being our big bad? Will it be Lilith? Will it be Jace? I feel like it could be a combination of those three. I'm not quite sure. This episode was great. I really, really, really like this episode. It gave a good amount of exposition. It was told correctly. And it was good stuff. So, so far, the odd episodes have been phenomenal. So, season three, episode five is stronger than heaven. Literally, her fist. Season three, episode six is a window into an empty room. That'd probably be Jace's brain. He's going to have a fucking single thought up there right now other than kill, kill, kill. So, I will see you guys Monday for season three, episode six. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated. I'll catch you on the next one.